we had a really exciting week this week. Uh, this weekend, we had our legal observer, our first legal observer training. We had 50 people come out to the Britannia Community Center to learn about our legal observing project. For those of you that don't know uh, about that project, what we're doing is we're sending out uh, uniformed observers into the streets of Vancouver and hopefully Whistler. Uh, there's a possibility we have a couple contacts up there that uh, will be able to do legal observing in Whistler as well. But our observers will be watching for rights violations during the Olympic period, the week before the Olympics and the two weeks of the Olympics. In particular, we're concerned about issues of free speech around protest. Uh, we're concerned about how the homeless are going to be treated uh, during the Olympic Games and their access to services. Uh, we're concerned about uh, whether or not people are going to be able, allowed to wear clothing with uh, political messages into Olympic venues. Um, and many other issues that come up as a result of freedom of freedom of information requests that we've made of the provincial government and the municipal government of Olympic documents that clearly set out that the International Olympic Committee does not want free speech for anybody except for Olympic sponsors and of course the IOC. So our observers are going to be out there in the streets watching what's happening. Um, we're really excited about the project and so apparently is the public. We had 50 people, uh, people were participating in the workshop, they were really interested and uh, we're going to be running these workshops uh, at least once a month in the lead up to the Olympic period. Our next workshop is October the 11th at 2.30 at Britannia um, in the Canucks Family Education Center. So if you're interested in coming out, please come out, send an email to info at bccla.org and we'll get you registered.